Two years since the war, which flattened entire neighbourhoods in Gaza, reconstruction is happening, but very slowly. The international community pledged billions of pounds in aid to get the job done in a programme of work which is being overseen by the United Nations. A programme which, Israel says, has been terribly abused by the Palestinian militants who run Gaza. And what's so cynical and disgusting here is that money and support that was intended for people who really needed it, the children and the elderly, people whose homes were destroyed, instead of this money going to help people, Hamas diverted it in order to build a war machine to kill Israeli civilians. Israel's security services say that this man, Wahid Abdullah al bursh a Palestinian engineer working for the UN, has been using UN resources to help build military infrastructure for Hamas, a charge that Hamas angrily denies. The Israeli allegations are false and baseless. It is part of an Israeli plan to restrict the work of aid organizations in order to tighten the Gaza blockade. Israel is trying to show that international aid organizations are being exploited in Gaza. Last week it charged a Palestinian director of the American charity World Vision with funneling millions of dollars worth of donations to Hamas. Though the charity says it is yet to see any evidence to back up Israel's claims. For tens of thousands of people inside Gaza, living conditions are as bad as they have ever been. And much of the dispute over these indictments is about who's to blame for that. Israel's blockade of Gaza is widely condemned as collective punishment. But Israel says that the aid that it does let through these checkpoints is routinely stolen by Hamas. The agreement brokered by the UN between Israel and Hamas after the last war was supposed to get building materials to the people who needed them most. That agreement has now broken down and left most of those people in the searing heat of summer and facing a third winter with no proper shelter. Geraint Vincent, News at 10, Tel Aviv.